Our other big story tonight, Jacksonville's new mayor laying out a new plan for the direction in which she wants the city to head. Today, Mayor Donna Deegan presenting this $1.7 billion budget plan for next year, presenting 349 pages or 40 pages to city council. And once council approves a budget, it'll take effect October 1st. Our coverage begins tonight with News for Jacks reporter Jim Piggott with what stands out from today's presentation. There were no major surprises in this budget. Most importantly, no tax increase. But what they did talk about were some of the smaller projects, the infrastructure, septic tank replacement, things like that. And that will all now go to the city council. It really, truly, though, is my honor to be with you today to deliver my first budget for Jacksonville. The Mayor Deegan didn't have a lot of time to work on this budget, you. but says it covers many things that the city needs to deal with. This is my budget and not my budget. You know, that's because you, you come in with so much already established. Um, so I think what we did is we, we tried to go as hard as we could toward those priorities of infrastructure, health uh, and economy with a special attention to small business. And so that's and, and with a, with an eye toward what we could do in our underserved communities. In the presentation before City Council, she laid out priorities, which include public safety and infrastructure, 28 million in road improvements, 17 million for septic tank removal, 500,000 for pool maintenance. And given the weather lately, she's also looking out for something else. Beyond flooding, we must also prepare ourselves for more extreme heat. Our budget includes 1.5 million for tree maintenance, and we will work to quickly utilize the unallocated $20 million that separately remains in the Tree Replacement Trust Fund. We should not have neighborhoods that are 10 to 15 degrees warmer than the rest of the city on hot summer days. Along those lines is $12 million for stormwater maintenance, $4.5 million to maintain ditches across the county, and over $16 million for bridge repair and bulkhead replacement along our waterways. I'm excited. It appears to be a new day, and those pillars that she talked about is going to make an economic difference, you know, especially for the, the small businesses that are in Jacksonville that have been looking for help and need the help and deserve the help. Dissecting this budget is going to be another thing of exactly what they want to do. City Council will start doing a lot of that in August and pass a budget by the end of September. From City Hall, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.